Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal, and today I'm going to show you how to download and use a free audio editing program to review your audio and listen for anomalous EVPs. Now I'm sure you've heard me speak of this software before, and the reason that I push this software so much, there are a couple of reasons. One, the software is free, you don't have to pay any money to use it, and you can use it as long as you want. Two, I feel that for what we're using it for, it has all of the features that you need and they're very, very, very easy to use. And three, you can download it right from your computer and start using it immediately. So this is a great software and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay guys, before we start working with the software, there are a few things that you want to have handy. First off, you want to download the software. Now it is a free download. I have included the link in the description so you can go down there, click on it, download it. It only takes a couple of minutes. You're also going to want to have your headphones available. I don't recommend listening to any audio without headphones. If you're listening to it through speakers, you could miss something. So make sure you've got a nice set of headphones. You're also going to want to have your recorder or whatever you have your audio file on. You're going to have to load this on the computer to use it. And last but not least, you're going to need a pen and you're going to need a piece of paper. So um, with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, when you open up your WavePad sound editor, this is what it will look like. The first thing we want to do is find our file and open it. So we're going to go up to the upper left hand corner and you're going to see open file. You're going to click on that. You can also do this by going to file and scrolling down to open file. And this is what it's going to look like. You're going to find the file you want to open click on it and open it. Now this is a mock EVP session that we have recorded strictly for this video. The longer your video, the lo or excuse me, the longer your audio, the longer it's going to take to upload it. So uh, keep that in mind. Now before we start listening to it, there's something we want to do. We're going to take our pen and paper and we're going to title this audio. We're going to call it EVP session. And what we're going to use this for is to mark down all of our anomalies so we can later go back and, and pull them out from the clips and I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to show you a couple features here. If you look to the lower right hand corner you're going to see this bar. If you scroll it down it's going to make it smaller. If you scroll it up it's going to make it larger so you can control the size of it. Um, down to the left of that you're going to see another one that's going to allow you to zoom. You're going to be able to zoom in and you're going to be able to zoom out and this is a very very important feature especially if, if you have long audio clips. You're going to be able to, to zoom in and so you can see the little peaks and valleys here. Um, down at the very, very bottom you're going to have a, a volume control. You don't want to have that too loud, but you want to have it loud enough to where you can hear it through your headphones. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Here in the, the lower left hand corner you're going to see your play button and you're going to see your stop button. These are the only things we're concerned with right now. So we're going to play it and we're going to have a listen. This is a mock EVP session for a tutorial video. There are no actual EVPs in this audio. Hello, my name is Mike. The reason I'm here is I'm here to communicate with anyone who can hear me or see me and has the ability to communicate. I'm not here to make anyone leave. I'm only here to communicate and learn. I'm holding a device in my hand. That's me walking around. I'm holding a device in my hand that will hopefully allow you to communicate with me. If you speak into it as loud as you possibly can, it'll make a copy of your voice and later I can go back and listen to it. I'm going to set it down right here. If there's anyone here that wants to try to communicate and is able to, can you please tell me your name? Okay, we just heard something, so we're going to stop it here. I can't quite figure out what it is, but uh, what we're going to do is we want to pull this out so we can save it. So the first thing we want to do is find out what time it happens. So we're going to go back to right about here, right before I started speaking, and we're going to click our mouse there, and it says about 54 seconds. And we're going to find the end of that clip right after the anomaly, and we're going to click it again. And we've got one minute and one second. So we're going to go down to our piece of paper, we're going to write in 54 seconds through one minute and one second. And what we want to do now is title this. Well, what did we hear? We heard some kind of a noise, but we couldn't make it out. So we're going to put noise here. And that right there is our first anomaly. You want to make sure when you're, when you're doing this, you want to actually 
get some audio before the anomaly and some audio after the anomaly. And it's great if there's an investigator speaking because you can use that for comparison. So let's move on and see what else we capture. Did you ever live in this house? Holy crap, we're hearing something here. What is it? It sounds like footsteps. What a capture. Um, we need to mark this down. So we're going to go right before I started talking. We're going to click our mouse and look down here and see it's at one minute and nine seconds. Then we're going to go up and hit, click it over here to our ending point, which will be 125. So we're going to write that down. And we're going to title it. It sounded like footsteps. So that's what we're going to write. Now you're, you're going to want to do this for your entire EVP session. Anything you find, you're going to want to mark it down here before you do anything. Okay, um, let's pretend as if we've went ahead and listened to the whole file. Now we want to pull these pieces out and save them. So what we're going to do is go back to our paper where you see 54 seconds to 1 minute and 1 second, and we're going to find that on here. Uh, you're also going to see your, your times down here. So we're going to start at about 54 seconds. And we're going to click there with our left mouse, and we're going to drag it over till about a, I don't know, a minute, a minute and two seconds, which is going to capture our entire anomaly. Now we're going to right-click this, and we're going to copy. What we're going to do next is go up to the upper left-hand corner, and you see where it says New File. You're going to click that, and you're going to open a new file. Now always set the sample rate to 44,100. Because if you're not doing this, you could be missing out on some anomalies that are in higher or lower frequencies. So you want to make sure to do that always. Go to click OK. OK, it's, it's got our, our new file open. We're going to right click and we're going to paste it. OK, there we go. We've got our, we've hit, we have our file here and we can go back and listen to can it. Please tell me your name. OK, now if you want to do any alterations to this, Make sure you do it on these files and not the original, because if you do it on the original, you may make a mistake and completely mess up your EVP recording. So um, do not do any alterations to, to the original. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to, how to amplify this a little bit so we can get a clearer sound as to what we're hearing. So we're going to find the anomaly, which is right here. We're going to left click and we're going to drag it and we're going to go down here and play it. Okay, we can't really figure out what it is, so we're, we want to make it a little louder. So this is how we're going to do that. We're going to go up to Effects. We're going to click on that and come down to Amplify. And here's your gain. You can make it as loud or as soft as you want. We're going to go to about 300. And if you press this, this little play button here, you can listen to it. Still can't really make it out, so we're going to apply this. And now we're going we're gonna to slow it down a little bit. These are the only two features that I recommend you use when you're, um, when you're trying to make your EVPs clear. I wouldn't recommend using any type of noise reduction because you can you know, damage your EVPs. You don't want to do that. But if you go down here to speed change, you can click on that. And you can adjust your speed to whatever you want. We don't want to go too slow, so we're going to take it to about 84% 80, and play it. Okay, we still can't make out what it is, but it's a really, really cool anomaly. So we're going to cancel out of that. Now we want to save this file as original as we can, so we're going to go up to Edit, and we're going to Undo Amplify, and we're going to go to Edit, and make sure you have, don't have any other effects up here. If you do, you want to undo those, because we want to save this file as it is. So what we're going to do is go up here to File, and we're going to Save File As. Um, we have a, a folder here. We're going to, we're going to rename this folder... Um, anomalies and we're gonna click on it and we're gonna title this anomaly one and you're gonna press save and it's it's gonna ask you how you want to save this and you again you're gonna leave it on the default which is 44,100 Hertz and you're gonna click OK so you've got that saved now you can go back and you can do anything you want to with it but we're gonna X out of this and you're going to go through and you're going to pull out each and every clip that you have found that you have written down here. 
You're going to find each one of those. You're going to isolate them. You're going to copy them and paste them into a new file. And you're going to save those so you can later go back and analyze them and see if you've captured anything. Well, there you have it. A free audio software for analyzing EVPs and how to use it. I want to thank you for watching our videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.viperparanormal.com. Please comment, rate, and don't forget to subscribe.